It requires an incredible team effort to make the food bank garden patch a success each year. And the number of volunteers this year has grown by about 150,000. Hello, ladies. Hi. For the first time, the garden patch, which provides fresh food for clients of the Saskatoon Food Bank and Learning Center, is home to two colonies of bees. They were brought here by Melissa Stonehouse, the vice president of the Saskatoon Bee Club, to help improve growing conditions. Bees can, and their pollination, they can increase crop yields depending on what it is from 30 to 80 percent. Um, as well, it's the pollination, if a, if a plant isn't properly pollinated, you'll get misshapen fruits or vegetables. Stonehouse began keeping bees in her backyard four years ago. And while bee populations in many areas of the world have struggled, hers thrived and led to her seeking out a new home for some of them. I knew this spring that I was going to look for another location to put them, and uh, I was at uh, CD Saturday and came across the Garden Patch's uh, booth and talked to Britt about if they ever wanted to see hives, and they were already looking for someone, so it worked out perfect. But she does admit to a few anxious moments when it came time to send her bees out into the world. I guess I turn into a bit of a worried mother because they're not in my backyard for the first year, so I've been wondering if they're okay and you know, do they have their water source, even though they'll find another one. Stonehouse says she is fascinated by bees and the exacting process they go through to make honey. The bees know that uh, they have to bring it down to 18% moisture, otherwise it'll spoil. So somehow they know to get it to that before they cap it off. While the colony may look chaotic, there is a structure here as each bee has a role. There's foragers whose job is to go out and bring back in the pollen and nectar. Um, there's guard bees that will guard the entrance for something coming in. Um, there's attendants that will look after the queen. And on this day, Melissa discovered this colony is preparing to coronate a new queen, something that only happens once every three to five years. The queen may have died. Um, she may be coming to her, the end of her life, and so she is, uh, doesn't have as much pheromone to control the hive anymore. So they will make these cells out of uh, already laid eggs, and they will make her a queen. There are warning signs up to tell people who visit the garden patch about the presence of bees, but Stonehouse says generally they have nothing to worry about. And you can see how gentle they are. When you do slow, easy movements, it keeps them pretty calm. A hive like this can produce up to 350 pounds of honey in a year. And if early returns are any indication, these bees have adjusted well to their new home. I think they're happy and they're doing well here. Um, I've already pulled three boxes of honey off of them, um, which is a little early, uh, so they're obviously happy and they're getting enough pollen and nectar. For Go Saskatoon, I'm Simon Hyatt.